I'm Bowling Otter. And I'm Lizzie Sandwich. And welcome to the BS. The Bowling Otter Show. All right, it's time for the Resident Evil Showcase 2022 conference. Weren't we just here? We were watching well, a Silent Hill humdinger. Indeed, filling my brain with ideas of the yes, future. Yes, and now that has been thrust. Yes, I will say it again: thrust out of my head. Yeah, and Resident Evil is now being jammed into its into its place. Yes, Capcom was like, "F you, Konami." I know it's our spot now. So, if if, if you could pick between the two, between Silent Hill and Resident Evil, yeah, yeah there's yeah. way more going on in Resident Evil at this point. <gasps> way yeah, more going on true. like maybe that'll change now but we have way more games yeah. way like way more different offshoots yeah. silent hill was not given the love it needed that's uh, true Evil was, so wow you made an argument quickly <laughs> there's not a lot left those i mean silent hill has like like amazing respect games. respect for the for the history for the foundation of it all yeah i think that's where my brain is but resident it, evil's but... right there too that was the same gen generation that's true the that's first true. resident evil one so they're both there. they're both ogs well you know? now they have more information for us apparently they do they're kind of like warrior and, OGs, aren't they yeah 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 i i think whatever they come up with because i know we have the winter's expansion coming up yes. very soon yes i bet that is going to be horrific yes oh my probably God. it should be okay but i i'm excited i'm scared and uh you know my butt cheeks are tight and i'm ready to go all right let us watch the thing <laughs> yes oh boy oh our friend selling us stuff and sharing none of that meat that he had hanging in his wagon. What do we got? What do you got for us? Please oh, let there be a person my. standing in the How environment many? like yesterday. Oh. How on earth did you get in here? Oh, please don't fret. It's the Joker. I have no intention <laughs> yeah. of making a meal of you. Oh. Please call me the Duke. Oh. Ah, yes. I'm but a humble merchant. No, you're not. Fair of goods to lords and ladies, prophets. He was anything but Jesus. humble to us, if I remember. I do so strive to please my patrons. I okay. hope we can become well acquainted. But of course, it is not I who is on display here, but rather the wares on offer for you. Oh my goodness! I in all manner of commerce. But today, I traded. Why are we looking knowledge. around so willy nilly? Maybe we can't this find him. Is a like... veritable Where is the dude? <laughs> yeah. Gathered from all throughout the realms of man. The more hard won the knowledge, the higher the price. Oh. But you look like you're well aware of the value of such things. Well, since we're here. I've got a few morsels I'd love to share with such a connoisseur. Please, please, take a gander. Take okay. a gander. Okay. Not I feel like I term. need to, to talk back to him World in premiere. that cadence. World premiere. World premiere. Stop! No hit the buttons! I, I like my buttons. That's for streams I like only. my buttons. False. <laughs> False. <laughs> they apparently work just fine. Yes! Father's nightmare comes to an end. Oh I dear! I just want to find my daughter. Yeah. Out of fight. Ugh. I'll always be there for you, no matter what. Uh. <laughs> Thanks for the reminder. Oh uh. gosh! Yucky! Ugh. Sweat. You are my precious rose. And I didn't care. So long as we were together. Oh, Leah. I'm so sorry. I love you. Dad. Oh, really? Oh, she's going back to the same mansion? Yeah. Oh, snap. Well, who's here now is the big question. Sometimes I get lost. Oh, my thing. God. I try to imagine what he might have said to me. No 
matter. Your imminent demise is inevitable. I love you, but I won't let anything happen to Rose. Rose! I've got this! Oh! Gold oh snap! Edition. Okay. Guard. Winter's expansion. There it is. Gosh. Oh. Oh my God. Next oh my God. Week. Eight days. Yeah. Eight days. Next eight days. Week. Eight days. Oh man. We better hurry up and finish scoring. And straight. And straight. The director. Of we the can do it. Expansion. Hi. Hi, director. Is this name director interview? Yes. Ethan gave his life to protect Rose. Oh, that was so and in the sad. End, you see how she's grown. Spoiler! What kind of person is 16-year-old Rose? That's what we wanted to explore. She wears so layers we and wears hats. That age in this expansion. You said you had something important to tell me? Oh. She's trying to get rid of her unwanted powers, but to do that, she is forced to return to the origin of her misfortune. We thought that concept had a lot of potential for an interesting story. So the setting this time is the realm of consciousness. Oh. Going back one more time to that uh, Ah, jeez. <laughs> of course. Oh, man. The oh, the sounds are going to be a uh, fear. For instance, I like if you've this ever decor. had a childhood fever that caused a nightmare, even if they only last for an instant, like the feeling of being attacked by a giant doll or something else similarly so completely unrealistic oh, that's gonna can freak remain us out. as a fragment of a memory for the rest of your life. I wanted oh, the core of the feeling oh, interesting. of fear to come from the kind of memories and nightmares that still haunt people to this day. Wow. We wanted to choose characters that would interest people who didn't play the mercenaries mode, but would be interested in playing a different type of character. Oh snap! Carl Heisenberg. That's right. There are characters called lords. Oh gosh, your favorite person. Allows you to perform amazing skills. Well, well, well. Being able to play them was more fun, so that's why we chose those characters. Oh, I'm glad. I'm happy for you. Remember that like frog? Thing. Was it a frog? Frog thing? Yeah, it was like in a bog. Sure it was so oh. disgusting. Do you remember that? Vaguely. Does anybody? Vaguely. Yeah, vaguely. Me, me too. We were enemy, trying to like get up in a building, and there was like the swamp type thing. Like you guys know what I'm talking tempo, about. And so the gross. Fun of defeating enemy after enemy. Oh. Increase the fun. That's great. In an FPS, you experience the game world as if it's through your own eyes. So it can be incredibly scary to play a horror game from that perspective. Mm -hmm. yes. There are some players out there who might find it too scary or experience motion sickness in the oh, first person perspective. I'm one of those people. You might not enjoy the FPS genre. So we wanted to make a third person mode for those players. Oh, okay. To enjoy the game to its fullest. Which is still like, you know, what do you something prefer? Resident Evil's been doing forever, so. Yeah, that's true. Oh, wow. While there's still a sense of immersion and fear with a third person perspective, when the player character dies, it doesn't feel as much like you yourself are dying. And you can enjoy playing it as a game. Yeah, but we're not trying to, you know, creates, which is a very yak into our sweaters experience. here. I you know what I mean? Person mode is a my sweater has oranges all over it. I don't want to yak on my orange sweater. both a game and an experience. Jeez. Would it be okay to show Ethan's face? We gave that question some thought. So even in third person mode, if you try to turn the camera to see his face, Ethan will look away. Oh. And you're not quite able to get a good look. I like this decor. Do you see it says good morning Each breakfast? Of the three editions are interesting <laughs> in their own way. This is a room made of and wood. We hope you really enjoy the expansion. Please look forward to it. Thank you. I'm terrified. No, thank you. Director interview. Mr. Interview. Mr. Interview. <laughs> oh dear. Now I need somebody to show up in the free. environment and be like, Starting "Whoa!" Today, director oh. Interview himself. Person mode will be available. <gasps> oh, cool. Oh no. This demo can be played for a total of 60 minutes in third person mode, or the previously existing first person mode. Okay. It's interesting. Ooh. Ah. Mission adjustment? No, doesn't change anything. In a while since we fought together, Captain. 
Doing nothing but recon's gotten me out of shape. Let's have some fun. There's mercenaries. Is it? Move out. Yes, sir. Okay. Reverse. Just imagine dragons. <laughs> it does sound like it. Doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. Boom, 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 boom. Stadium vocals. <laughs> Echo. Blech. Included free with every purchase. Oh, Resident Evil R Reverse is free. Oh, R Reverse. Why are you doing that to me? Village. Or Resident Evil Village You're going to make us say RE verse and not this reverse when the word reverse is right there. You can fight players across all platforms. Oh, fun. Those who already own Resident Evil Village will be able to participate in the early access period starting oh, October 24th. We love to see it. Additionally, updates are planned for Resident Evil RE reverse after it has been officially released. Here are Key some change. details for yeah, the early there. access and updates. One survivor, creature, costumes. Okay, so it's like definitely. Looks like a Dead by Daylight sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. You gotta cash in on those trends, baby girl. Yep. Resident Evil Village will be playable on even more platforms. Oh my god, play it on your Apple Watch! <laughs> on your Hello, Fitbit! Everyone. My name is Jeremy Sandmel, and I'm part of the GPU software team at Apple. <laughs> you feel like, <laughs> <"What> <laughs> Apple Watch? I'm so immersed! Conference. Capcom announced Resident Evil Village will be coming to the Mac later this year, and will take full advantage of the power and performance of Apple Silicon. We couldn't be more excited that the game will be available to Mac users around the world beginning Friday, October 28th. Oh. Resident Evil Village is the first project based on Capcom's RE engine to support the Mac and runs natively on Apple Silicon. And since the game is optimized to take advantage of Metal 3 features like Metal Effects upscaling, mm. gameplay is incredibly responsive with high frame rates and beautiful visuals. I don't doubt this that, sir. This means that every Mac, from MacBook Air to Mac Studio, will be able to play Resident Evil Village with ease. Stay tuned for more information soon. Okay, I mean... He looked like a nice person. Okay. I trust him. I don't know why, like, we have to, like, shoehorn Hello, games everyone. on the Mac. Like, oh. at this point, you can yeah. do cloud gaming if you want to. You can yeah. do, like, GeForce Now or something. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Project. Of the Resident Evil franchise. Anything else to put like a, a feather in their cap, you know what I mean? Yeah, just, just build a PC. Everybody. <laughs> Not only fans from Japan, but from all over the world. Get a Steam Deck. PC Master Race. Nintendo Switch without thinking about the download time. Oh, there it is. Clock gaming right there. The application size is small, but the users can experience smooth gameplay of up to 60 FPS while playing it in multiple modes that Nintendo Remember that Switch damn offers. Such bell. as TV mode, tabletop mode, <laughs> that and bell puzzle mode. there was that room where we it couldn't find the be bell able to focus on the gameplay for like an hour about yeah. storage space or the download time. You can yeah. also check your network environment by playing the demo before you pre-order or That's purchase the one of the game. best things about Cloud Gaming that nobody yeah. is cashing in on. That's mm. instant demos. Yeah, yeah. Like instant just pop right for in sure. and start playing it. Yeah, that's wonderful. Cloud game for the first time or may have concerns, can test it and enjoy the game. And they, they all have to do this because we some people have networks that can have no problem so with cloud gaming. It works really, really well, but if you don't have a good network, it's going to be terrible. Yeah, yeah. It's getting smaller and smaller. We hope you will enjoy it and marvel at the technology of cloud gaming as well as its future through the release of Resident Evil Village Cloud. It's interesting. Yeah, Everybody's right. getting involved there. I mean, it's on October 28th. Oh, it's definitely the future. DLC will follow on December oh, December 2nd. The winter's expansion is RE2 second. Cloud will launch on November 11th, followed Gosh. by the RE3 Cloud on November 18th. Maybe the cloud version was December 2nd. I think. Got it. Okay. I'm following. I'm following I think, along. I think. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> oh, such delectable information. Oh, he used the word delectable safe? and savored. Oh, what's that? You want more? More food references, please. What a greedy thing you are. You should have been gluttonous. Oh, it's quite right? All right. I love to see a healthy appetite. What did you say? We still I'll haven't finished Dahmer, by the way. Say your hunger. Come, have a look at this. Hot dog. We need to finish Dahmer, by the way. We do need to finish Dahmer. We're Speaking halfway through food. Halloween ends, though. We have another half yeah, hour there's that left too. of Halloween ends. We can, been, we'll finish that first. That's been something. Can't catch up, man. Snap! What? Are we getting... Oh, that's right, the remake. 
Hello, everyone. Hi. I'm the producer of Resident Evil 4, Yoshiaki Hirabayashi. I'm here today to deliver the newest information about the title. First, please enjoy this new gameplay footage. Oh, oh snap! I thought he was going to stand there next to us while we watched it. <laughs> right. I want them to be in the world. They're like running us around this room with this voiceover. I'd rather them plop somebody. Like with Silent Hill in the Fog yesterday. That was cool. Yeah, and yeah. they'd be like, whoa, how did we get here? Oh my gosh, holy crap. Look at this. Oh, I'm really excited about this. Oh man. <gasps> oh no. This was like such an unexpected shift for the series. And it like was. what a what a really smart move for the series. Yeah. Anyone home? Oh my god. It, this is burned into my memory. Like so hard. This looks awesome. No, it doesn't. <laughs> it looks terrible. What is that? <gasps> oh my God. Hey. I read you. What's your situation? I better not ask again. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's, he oh, sounds he's really dead. busy. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, this looks so good. Oh my god. Oh my god, the neck. Wasn't like the big, like one of the big things about Resident Evil 4, like they're not really zombies. Like the deal for that one, it was like a little bit of a change. Oh my God. Oof, body's all tense. Bruce, this is Gondor 1. Hunnigan here, what's your sit rep? President's daughter. Baby Eagle. It's likely she's in this village. Baby Eagle. Our intel was correct then. Well done. Something's happened to the people here. My escorts are. I said the president's daughter, Baby Eagle. It's like you're not supposed to say what the code word is. Yeah, right? <laughs> so the president's daughter's in trouble? I mean, Baby Eagle. Here we go. Oh, this is such a cool like look for this initial uh, sequence. Ah! Oh, oh, look, you're grabbing her eye and stuff. Oh my god, I hate it. Oh jeez. Hide behind the cow. Don't let anything oh. happen to the cow. Oh. Or you could set the cow on fire. A cow, a cow caught on fire really fast too. Flammable cow. Flammable cow. That's what the subtitle for this game should be. Yeah, the, the cow is, Evil 7. is made of acetone. Mars Evil 4. Probable yeah. cow. <laughs> right. Probable cow DLC. Ugh. Cow expansion. Run! Oh, God. What is this? Ugh. Don't get... Ooh. Oh, my ah! God. Oh, my gosh. Wow, it looks like brighter. Like, I remember it feeling darker. Yeah. Well, you're in and out a lot of really dark like little huts and houses like this, you know? I think it was just a more limited color palette like like back in the day. Like, cause this looks brighter. Yeah, it does. I see what you mean. Ooh. Oh my God. Oh my God. Uh, 
You're only hurting yourself there, partner. Oh my gosh. Came in a bulls. Oh! Oh my god! With a knife! Cool. What did you think? As you just saw, we are paying respect to the original game's world while implementing new ideas and state of the art graphics to strengthen the core concepts of the title. Not a pain. We think this game will provide a fresh experience. They have been doing a really good job of balancing like the original that both newcomers and veterans to with the remake. I mean, yeah. But still making it feel new. Yeah. They've been doing a really good job of that. The Ganados will have all new ways to attack. The Ganados closing in on Leon during his mission and will attack with an even greater variety of methods than oh, in the original. Exactly release. what I wanted. Leon fights back with firearms, close combat maneuvers, a newly added parry using his knife, uh -huh. and more. Resource management and upgrade elements are critical for survival. See, mean I should use them and not wait Just till the end of the, the game. Oof. The attache Just make them take up all the space in my inventory forever. Yeah. In addition to managing the weapons and items you carry and synthesizing herbs, this also allows you to craft ammunition and other items. Over here, stranger. Of course, we can't forget the merchant. Something new. Where? You can purchase weapons and items and customize them to suit your playstyle. Hi. Uh oh. Stress. Nah. This is stress for me. It's an this entire is, episode is, of trying to figure out what to do in the inventory. Just going through all of this and going, well, let me hang on to this. And then you're going to be hanging on to ammo that you're never going to use. We are rebuilding you're going to get that magnum in your pocket that's going to sit there. Experience, adding new ideas and modernizing the play field. Now I also got a hand at a Capcom how they're managing to do this while still putting out new ones. Yes, you yes, know? yes, 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 for sure. Evil 4 will also be available on PlayStation 4. In addition to PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, right. and Xbox Series S, and PC. The PlayStation 4 version can be upgraded to the PlayStation 5 digital version at no additional cost. Oh, that's cool. I'd like to introduce two other editions we are preparing. Love cross-platform ah! buys. For more than the standard edition. Okay. The first is the deluxe edition, oh. which will be available for oh. all platforms. Look at hero. Look at romantic. Oh. Costumes, special Ooh. weapons, a treasure map. And that more. makes me in the mood for romance. Next is the physical only collector's edition. Oh. oh that's edition a really cool statue. Includes kind of the is. contents of the deluxe edition, as well as a Leon figure, a special map, Can we dress him up? art book, soundtrack, and more. Also, pre orders start today. Of course they do. Oh, if all you pre -order those pre orders. The You'll receive the attache case gold and special charm handgun ammo. Neat. If you pre-order the deluxe edition or collector's edition, you'll receive the standard edition pre-order bonuses as well as attache case classic and special charm green herb. Uh -oh. Green herb charm. If yeah, you that's fun. The digital version <laughs> on the PlayStation Store. Don't send the wrong message. A mini <laughs> Call Ronald Reagan. You can I don't think, I don't think they think it's the wrong message. Resident <laughs> Evil 4. Thank you for watching so far. You're welcome. We are working hard to create a game that everyone will enjoy. I believe it. So please. We know you are. We Before are looking go, forward to it. We have uh -oh. one more update for you. It's a mobile if it, game. If it's somebody getting <laughs> gored. It's a mobile game or a TV show. <sighs> well, the show happened. Oh, dear. You're here looking for someone? Maybe 
Some missing senorita? Ashley, where are you? Your soul requires cleansing. Oh! Is this like, are they expanding Resident Evil 4? Ashley Graham, are you in here? Just let me go. Listen. I'm hearing the president's orders and... What is that? What do we do? The last lamps are escaping. We need to go. <gasps> I'm gonna get you home safe. You can stop right there. Ada. Who are you? What are you doing here? My faith is the sign to show her the path. Run! The entire world shall overflow with these grains. What's happening to me? <laughs> uh oh. Now consumption. Abandon yes. your body. Leave the girl. She's lost no matter what. Oh! How the oh! Is Joseph Death. Joseph Death. Death. Like that? That's oh, funny. You gotta be kidding me! <gasps> March twenty fourth. Oh. March twenty fourth. But we have a date. Oh my God. Yes. Did you enjoy the Resident Evil showcase? Yeah! I did. Let's recap. Okay. Okay. <laughs> First, Resident Evil Village Gold Edition yes. launches on Friday, October 28th. Yes. If you already own Resident Evil Village, we do. you could purchase the Winter's Expansion DLC separately. Yeah. The Winter's Expansion includes Gross. three additional modes. The third person mode, so you can enjoy How do you think you want to play it? New perspective. I want to try third person. Do you? Up, It'll feel like a like more older school feel. And the new yeah. story campaign, Shadows of Rose. Oh, yes. A demo for the third person mode will be available today. Don't forget. Don't forget. That's right. The early access period for Resident Evil R Reverse begins October 24th for R Reverse all the Village. R Reverse. I get Resident it. Four days. Village Cloud playable on Nintendo Switch. I'm glad for these bullet service, points. Will be available starting October 24th. I'd say I call R Reverses. Yeah. Would that have been better? Resident Evil Maybe. 3 and Resident <laughs> Evil 7 are also coming to Nintendo Switch via Cloud. That'll be fun. Game. Also, the Mac version of Resident Evil Village will be released on October 28th. Cool. The newest entry in the series, Resident Evil 4, will release on Friday, March 24th, 2023. Oh, man. And you can pre-order it today. I cannot wait for we that, hope though. You look forward to That's going to be super good. Thank you very much for watching. You're welcome. Look, we already know Resident Evil 4 is a great wow. game. We know that they've been doing an awesome well, job well. with the remakes. Oh, oh like well, you well. Had your, had your fill. Such a grand display. I should hope you were so. like, should we use more oh, fun, uh, more uh, food more metaphors? Food references, yes. More food references, yes. Just a bit of bartering with another merchant. <laughs> An odd chap, but his information's good. And I shouldn't say any more. Go right out. I do hope I'll see you again. Oh, snap. I'll strive to prepare a suitably satisfying stock of goods. All oh, right. Wow. Cool. That was fun. I think Resident Evil 4 looks freaking great. Yes. Looks yes, super, super I agree. good. It does. And we know it'll be great. We yeah. know they will all be great. Like they always come through, at least for me. Yeah. You know, on, on like the whole looking back. Yeah. You know, it's always like, oh, they're so good, but they're absolutely disgusting. <sighs> absolutely disgusting. See, so we've got chainsaws and knives and weird little things, and it's going to. Ah! Thank you. <laughs> this froze you in your tracks. You did. Disgusting. Disgusting. Pretty cool though. Disgusting and exciting. Pretty cool stuff. Wow. I would love so, to see what you guys think in the comments. What are your thoughts? What are your thoughts about how this compares with Silent Hills information that we got yesterday? Well, Silent what you, Hills. How are you feeling? The the big thing about Silent Hills is that it, that was about a revival of an entire franchise. Yeah, yeah. That hadn't been doing anything. Right. Resident Evil's been busy. It has been so very busy. No yeah. one's surprised that there's new Resident Evil stuff. Right. It's just like, what is it going to be and what's yeah. going to be different? Um, but uh, I think that the big I, I'm really looking forward to the uh, the Winter's expansion. For sure. And really looking forward to Resident Evil 4 remake the most yeah. of all, I think. Yeah. Um, other than that, the rest of the stuff is like, okay, cool. 
Yeah. You know, cloud gaming. All right, Mac platform. Okay, fun. multiplayer version. Okay, that's yes. fun stuff. But it, you know, these the campaigns are where it's at with these. Mm -hmm. Silent Hills was more like, oh, or Silent Hill um, transmission was transmission. more like, oh my god, like these stuff is going to exist. Yeah, like yeah. we're actually going. But I feel like, uh, like Bloober team doing Silent Hill two. Right. They. I feel like they're going to be compared to what Capcom is doing, yeah. reviving the original Resident Evil games, because yeah. it's the same era of franchise, the same kind of deal what they're doing, and Resident I'm Evil shows that they're very good at it. So yeah. now it's like Bloober Team's got a chance to pull it off, really and you hope they don't mess it up. to That's see what all, Bloober you know? does. Yeah. yeah, for sure, for uh, sure. We'll see, mm. we'll see. Let us know your comments, okay, please. please. Yeah, not, we're not talks. talking about Silent Hill right now, we're talking about Resident Evil. We are. Let us know what you think. Are you horrified. excited about it? What's your favorite part of this? Is there anything that wasn't here that you wish was? Mm. Anything you liked or didn't like? Put all that stuff in the comments. Understandable. All of it. Yes. We're going to do some more videos about other stuff later. Always. But in the meantime, don't forget to watch us on Twitch. Nonstop. <laughs> if you like this video, yeah. please support us on Patreon. Click like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks. Bye. Bye.